accessed. Opening hangar bay. Hello everybody, hope you've had a good day, Macarena Central here. And I'm trying something a little bit different here today, so I'm playing around with a new toy, which is my Stasis Beam 12 Carbine 12 Panther. And I'm not doing this live like I would normally do, I'm just going to do a voiceover. So that's why you may notice things are slightly different than usual. So guys, with this build, it's just a brilliant all-round build. It can stun and slow faster mechs, you know, like the kill shot, shadows, things like that. Anything that's running javs is done for when this thing gets hold of it. So now we are fighting against a Lancer. As you can see, I use the wall as cover and that provides an excellent chance for me to stun them ready for the carbine 12 to shred them up also the thing is with the stasis beam it deals a reasonable amount of damage on its own so i'm running with game over and grudge dread in this clip here we, we were doing a few tournaments just before it ended and in the next fight guys you're going to see that I'm going to use this thing in PvP because we did run up against some Russian players, tough ones at that as well. So yeah, now like I said what I'm doing is I'm just getting the stasis beam out and just slowing them down, finishing them off with the carbine 12, definitely a fun build. I originally tried this on a guardian and again that's really good, guardian is more tanky so you can sort of brawl more with it but with the panther you get the extra shield ability, you can apply the slow a lot better so I moved over to this build. So um, as you can see I died, I'm now using my kill shot with the railgun. Yes I've moved it over to him temporarily because I've moved the rockets off of the, um, the Guardian and jumbled my hangar about a bit, just to breathe a bit of fresh air into it. So yes, uh, actually rocking it with the kill shot at the moment. And there we go, that was a push against, the Guardian, uh, against uh, an Ares. Two juggernauts, almost got them in one. Now you're probably thinking, why the hell has he got a shotgun on the side of the railgun? Well guys, I like the fact that it gives a louder thump sound when you shoot with it, which is kind of cool. But secondarily, as soon as you um, boost into an enemy, you can apply about 1000 to 2k damage in a short space of time with the shotgun. There's nothing that deals more damage at close range than a shotgun too. I mean, to be honest with you guys, we're fairly limited with what we've got. So you can either run an RPG or a shotgun 2, you know, something like that. Now guys, I took a little bit of a break from the game because I was finding I was getting a bit stressed out, especially with all the competitiveness with the uh, the clans and stuff. And uh, yeah, certain clans, you know, I don't want to cause too much bad blood with, so I'm not going to be uploading as many clan fight videos on this channel at the moment. Maybe I'll run a few if they're really good, but otherwise it's not going to be a case of every time I do a clan fight I'm going to upload a vid on it. Uh, having some fun games with the Heat guys and they're definitely a good bunch to roll with. Had a lot of fun playing with them recently. Now guys we're on to my Guardian with the Railgun. I've paired the Long Arm, 10 with, uh, long arm 8 with him at the moment and I'm enjoying that as opposed to the Rockets just because of the pinpoint precision I'm guessing with it. But yeah it's just like I said you know just to breathe a bit of fresh air into the account. I do get a bit bored if I'm playing with the same hangar for too long. Hint, hint, multi-hangers. Yeah, we can end down with the long arm eight and then just finishing him off. In that case, I was just helping my teammates out. So yeah, Steve-O suggested to me to change the cursor, so that's why it may look a bit different. Um, usually I run the crosshair cursor, but to be honest with you, they both have the points in the middle. I'm just enjoying the change a little bit you know, with the circle crosshair. It's just a small change, you know, livens things up a bit. Now guys, I've got quite a few videos planned because I've got some new builds I want to test out. And it looks like we're just about to end the game here. I'm trying to finish him off, but I didn't quite get it. But I did get first place in all three places. MVP times three. Loving that. And the new build was the centre one I used the most, so it did the best for me. Now we're going to see this thing in a PvP situation in about 10 seconds, guys. All 
Right, here we go. So we've got Alex here, who's a seasoned Russian player, played against him quite a bit, and this newcomer here, SK Worm, I think that is. Worm, worm. <laughs> So yes, here we go. I decided that I was going to let the guys go in a bit faster so I didn't immediately dash down. I decided to, to head up Alex as I saw he's in a kill shot, which is the perfect chance to showcase how this build stops as fast a mech. And as you can see, he tried to back off immediately. I had the stasis beam applied to him and the carbine just finished him off. Now I decided to uh, go for the bots before engaging with Worm. I leave the other two fighting that. As you can see, Game Over's over there fighting the right side of the map. And Dread is. Oh, we also had Nemo on our team as well. Strange matchmaking, considering I only dropped with those two. Nemo came in as well, so it was a 4v2. But these guys played very hard. It was a decent, decent game. And yes, as you can see, Worm was. He was causing all kinds of problems for us. But I decided to stasis beam him, slow him down, finish him off, and then engage Alex. This one was a bit of a weird one. I remember he dashed up and managed to get me before I could apply the stasis beam. So that is one thing you want to do when you're running something like a stasis beam. Keep your distance just a little bit, otherwise the kill shot will engage you. Even if you've got it applied, he can seem to boost through it at a slightly slowed rate. Now we're back with the railgun. And yes guys, my shots were on point today. I was really focusing on getting that pinpoint precision down. Alex decided to change up and go for mortars and hide at the back of the map, so he was a bit of a nuisance, but we ended up taking him out. For the meantime, I just left him and just focused on the bots, while making sure that I was hiding for cover the whole time. Now the funny thing guys is, I was putting on this new build thinking I'd create something unique and then I see someone like SK Worm here and a couple other Russians in a few games back that were running the exact same build. So obviously they have had the game for longer, they must know about certain builds uh, and a lot of the US and I would say British but there's probably only about five of us that I've seen, um, we're working stuff out a little bit later. So we're going we're gonna to play catch up but we're going to catch up guys. And I suppose the same is true for the Indians. You guys have had it for a long time, so you know a lot of the builds that work. Now as you can see, he was using the mortars, and we just had to make sure that we stayed for cover and kept out of their way. I don't think this is really a very good map for mortars necessarily. I know the top in the middle here is open, ready for it, so if you are using mortars, it will go through, but there's just too many spots to hide for, under for mortars to be effective. Now Alex actually managed to get game over and trying to see what he's actually running here. I see SK Worm was using the same kill shot build and he managed to get me again using that strat. So yeah, like I said, really want to iterate that point that you need to hold the stasis beam on them for a little while to make sure that it applies to really get them stunned. Alex was um, was finished off, I think. I think he got finished by, by Dread maybe. Now Worm is in his kill shot here. He's obviously got a second copy. I thought I'm just going to dash forwards and show you how it's done because You've killed me like that twice now. <laughs> so I managed to get him. And I'm getting stasis beamed myself. So I just thought I'd turn around and get a quick fire shot on him to make sure that I've dealt the damage before he kills me. Which he did, he killed me. Now we'll go in and mop up with the Guardian. So all in all guys, a very good build for team play. It's not the most extreme damager, but it deals good damage and it's a very good all-rounder. So I finished him off with the Guardian, quick firing these rounds. Alex has spawned, I think that's dual carbine 12s. Yeah, it's dual carbine 12s on that. That's a build I want to test at some point considering I've six starred my carbine 12 now. So I definitely need to do a carbine 12 second copy video, you know, running both. Which deals extreme, extreme damage, one of the best builds in the game. So we've got 10 seconds left, closing up here now. They, they really pulled it close, guys. I thought we were going to go third round, but I think we managed to just pull it out here. And what was Alex using there? Doesn't matter, we won the game. So guys, yes, just a, a nice little start of video. I haven't uploaded in, in a few days, and I just thought I'd bring it back. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I really appreciate when you guys like and comment on the video, so 
please keep doing that and I'll be keep pushing out good content for you guys. Also, if you want to suggest anything, drop it in the comments below and I will look over it, add it to my list of video ideas that I've got planned. And yeah, we will get them rolled out, guys. So as always, guys, like, comment and subscribe. Hit the notification bell and I will see you guys in the next video. As you can see here, I'm just checking out our opponents before we end the game. Peace out, guys.